And good evening. Route 220 between Roanoke and Martinsville is one of our region's busiest roads. You probably know that, and many of you deal with the headaches that it can bring every day. That's why VDOT wants to hear from you about ways to improve it. 10 News reporter Taj Simmons spoke with drivers today who shared their biggest concerns. Route 220 is arguably Franklin County's most important road. This vital corridor, which someday could become the future Interstate 73, is the main commute for hundreds of Franklin County drivers, such as Ben David and Kenneth McFalls. I drive uh, 220 every day to uh, work, to and from work. Normally I leave about 7 o'clock and I'll normally have a short delay. The commute on 220 comes with challenges though, especially the congestion. I just have to prepare myself to give myself extra time to get to and from work. I can't be in a rush. And sometimes the crashes. Especially in the winter time, I mean, somebody's always wrecking or you never know what you're going to experience. This morning I left at 7.30 and there were four separate incidents on 220. Since VDOT does not have the funding yet to build I-73, they're looking for smaller ways to improve the way we travel on 220 between Roanoke and the North Carolina border. This month, VDOT is hosting meetings in Roanoke, Rocky Mount, and Martinsville to share their ideas with the public. We definitely are aware of the needs on Route 220 to keep that, that corridor flowing, to improve safety. McFalls has a few suggestions of where to start. I'd like to see VDOT uh, improve the timing on some of the lights to allow rush hour for traffic to flow a little bit more freely. Also, I think maybe they could add a lane in a few places. No matter what VDOT decides to do, these drivers hope this important road gets the care it deserves. In Franklin County, Taj Simmons, 10 News, working for you. Some of the proposed designs include restricting median crossovers and improving traffic signals.